From 1991 to 2013, the U.S. violent crime and murder rates dropped more than 50%. From 1993 to 2011, non-fatal firearm-related crimes dropped 69%. However, if you ask Americans what they think crime has been doing over the last 20 years, they will tell you it's been going up. Over half of Americans think gun-related crimes have increased. Only 12% think it's decreased. Wait, so in reality, violence is down, way down. But the perception is that violence is up. We've got a disconnect here. This misperception problem prevents us from having an honest dialogue about what causes violence and what we can do to fix it. Even more concerning, it's used to justify increasing restrictions on our rights. You might recognize me from my viral 2013 video, Choose Your Own Crime Stats. Since that time, I've been railing against this media-fed misperception about crime and its serious consequences for our constitutionally protected rights. It was that concern that motivated me to step out from behind the camera in the first place. You see, over my career as a filmmaker, I've had the opportunity to work on many amazing projects all over the globe, from helping people tell their personal stories about spinal cord research, to following demolition crews, to working behind the scenes at TED. I've had the opportunity to direct over 300 on-camera interviews. Now, I've told many stories on film, but none of them were as important or as personal as this issue is to me, to all of us, really. I plan to make a documentary that investigates the causes of our misperception about crime and attempts to identify the real causes of violence. Most importantly, I want to make the case, once and for all, that restricting Americans' Second Amendment rights has not and will not make us safer. I want you to join me. Help me elevate our national discussion about violence and help me protect our fundamental freedoms.